we can use it to connect connect it to any private network uh, on the internet so in this case we we're gonna create we're gonna install open vpn on, on open to server so i deployed an open to server on ec2 so let's connect it to the machine first i'm gonna use my private key then username public ip of that machine so I just copy it from here so just be a sort of user okay now i'm sort of user so just clone this repo so i'm going to put this link in description just to get clone so it's been done to ls cd to that uh, directory then to ls then change permissions of this sh folder so it, it's going to be execu executable okay then do oh, dot forward slash and that file name so it's run it's going to run that script so in this case i have given been given this public ip of this machine over here so one, but once you start stop this machine and restart it so this ip is going to change so in that case uh, you can go to elastic ips then you can create an ip then the ip uh, just attach that ip to this machine then use the uh, elastic ips public ip so this is just a test server so i'm i'm not gonna create an elastic ip so i'm, I'm just gonna stick with this public ip just enter then it is recommended to use udp so that's already selected as a default one and then enter then i don't want to use this public uh, this port so i'm just gonna change this port you can use this port as well it doesn't matter so i'm gonna put my double one five zero then uh, you can use a current system resolver but i'm gonna stick with the google's one type two then we need to create a client name so what this client file we need to connect to this to this uh, open vpn so i'm gonna do a test you can name it anything then enter so what that's gonna run that script and it's gonna install open vpn on this open server so once it is done we can check we can restart the service then we can copy that uh, client file to our local system so let's do that okay it's been okay it's been done so once it is done it's gonna create that uh, client folder under roots directory you can check that roots home directory slash root so we do have the test for open vpn file so let me copy this file to ubuntu, ubuntu's uh, user users home directory that's under slash root test open vpn to slash home slash ubuntu okay let me do a slash ubuntu okay i do have that test that open vpn file so let me restart this open vpn service system ctl restart open vpn okay then let me we need to get this uh file from this ubuntu machine to our local machine so in this case i'm using mac so let me open a new terminal go back to the desktop that's where i do have the private key so ssa sorry scp then i'm gonna use a key for authentication then we need to give that username into and that uh public ip of your machine so come back paste it then we need to give the path to that file that's under ubuntu's user directory then gives a file name that's ovpn right that's ovpn then i'm gonna copy that file to to same uh, same directory where i have so I'm, I'm on i'm at the moment on desktop so i'm just gonna put that over here so once you run this command so it's gonna download that file from ubuntu server to your local machine so it's been downloaded then just check before before connecting to this client just try to connect it to your machine 
with private IP. So in this case, this is my private IP. Okay, and let's open a new terminal. Okay, on the desktop, then SSH I. I'm gonna use the the key, then username and the private IP. Let's try to connect to that machine now. So it's not going to go through because we are trying to reach that uh, private network. It's not uh, I mean we it's not a public one. It's a private IP, so you can't access outside of that of that network. So so if, we, if you want to connect to that network, we have to be in that network. So once we connect to this VPN, then we're going to be in the same network uh, in the in that network. Then we can use a private IP to connect. Let's see that in action. So let's open that open vpn client so i uh, i already installed that open vpn client in my mac then i'm just going to drag that file over here and connect yeah now you can see the uh, blue tick blue slider so you can see the network uh, bandwidth as well now let me use a pair to kind of use the previous command okay it says uh user slash unknown okay let me delete this file let's see i have a problem with the noun host so paste it that's it let me run rerun that command yes sorry now i connect to that machine through private ip even if you have multiple machines on on this uh, on same uh, VPC, you 